All right, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. You all know the routine. How's everybody with the week going? Because uh, I think it's been a crazy week. Weird week for me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me. Uh, if you uh, if you're out there, let me let me know you're on. Say hello. But we're gonna talk about some uh, some topics in the news here coming up and uh, what you missed on the shows this week. But man, this week was just a, a weird week. I don't know if it's just something in the air or what. It's kind of like one of those things like if it could go wrong, it did. Kind of a week, but that's all right. That's all right because we're gonna move forward and. Uh, and when, that stuff happens, right? That's life. Ish happens. <laughs> Share this out. Let me know you guys are out there. Jump on, say hello. And if you got a topic you want to discuss, questions, comments, cries of outrage, leave a comment uh, below. Lance, what's up, brother? I can always rely on you jumping on. Press on. I know, man. You have to, right? It's just one of those... It, it it's weird. It, I'll I'll chalk this week up as uh, a lot of growth and learning opportunity. That's a that's a good good way to put it. Right? Oh, green. Uh, red. Lance, what is it? Is it, it's not Christmas yet? We talking about green, red, jello. But I, I would say red, Lance. I would say red. But yeah, lot, lot. Just a, just a weird week. A lot of, and I'm learning, learning a lot, of, learning, learning a lot of stuff about uh, living in a different states and uh, and whatnot. There he is, our man Stephen. What's up, brother? Love the picture this morning, by the way. Stephen Williams. Marine Corps veteran, many, many years, good friend, great photographer, really good editor. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, guys, for jumping on. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, and you're right, Stephen. You know, tough people do. You know, it, it, it's just one of those things where you got to look at it as an opportunity for growth, you know, and uh there was a lot of growing this week. A, a lot of growing. It, it my body hurts. CO is yeah. Colorado is is absolutely gorgeous. I was like, as you know, I was out there last week in Denver. Uh, I wasn't downtown Denver. We were actually about uh, probably forty minutes out, but you could see the skyline of Denver and the Rockies in the background. And, and Colorado is just a you're right, beautiful state. Lance, what did I do wrong? Nothing that, nothing that I did wrong, per se. It was just, um, you know, different states have different things with vehicles. Like in Arizona, take a take an emissions test, pay your ticket or for your emissions, and then uh, we'll see you in two years kind of thing. Out east here, there's some states out here that require you to do a full uh, mechanical inspection, and if you so much as, is, you know, have lint on your seat, they'll fail you for it. So it's just a learning process, and then they charge you. It's just the government wants their taxes, man. That's what it is. It's just the man, the, the man's trying to stick it to the little guy. That's what it is, right? <laughs> it's, um, I don't know. That's so a lot of vehicle stuff. Which is, is kind of funny, but uh, what state? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Different. It's it's just different out here. I don't know what it's like. Those of you, I know that we got a lot of viewers that are in a lot of different states all over the country. What's it like for vehicle renewal in your state? I know what it's like in Arizona. I'm learning what it's like in Pennsylvania. I know what it's like in Wisconsin. What is it? What's it like in your state? Mark Peterson, Patriot Pride, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lance. <laughs> so, um, let's, let's, you know, so again, 
just uh, a, a very interesting week and a lot of good things that, that are coming up. So it, it's, uh, but it's all good. Oh, my dear good. Oh, Shirley, how are you, sweetheart? I appreciate you jumping on. Great to see you. And yeah, about time you're up early enough. <laughs> Another great friend, Shirley. Oh, got to catch up. Appreciate you guys jumping on. Um, what else happened this week that was that was that was interesting? Uh, my dog. How many of you are dog people? I I, I got I got a dog that loves uh, drywall. Apparently, I I literally. I literally woke up the other morning. We just we just patched a hole. I had some contractors in the house. We're getting some stuff done here in the house. Patched a hole <clears throat> uh, that was actually caused by the dog originally when she was a puppy. Patched it up. Woke up the next morning. Dug into the fresh drywall, and I'm like walking her around, running her around, and it it was horrible. What is it with dogs and, and drywall? Does anybody else have that issue with, with their dogs? I'm just I'm just curious if I'm the only one. Uh, all you animal lovers out there, um, and, I, and I love my dogs. I have two dogs. They are uh, German Shepherd tree walking coon hound mixes, and they're, they're wonderful dogs. I absolutely love them. So anyway, let's... Uh, Let's get on to some of the topics that I found this week. And I think I really want your guys' opinion on. We got a couple people on here now. Love your guys' input on, on this. So the first one, uh, you know, I titled this one this week, you know, believe it. You know, you, you should probably believe what, what they're saying, right? Those of you that watch this show long enough know that it's like we have to get back into the critical thinking uh, type mindset, and that means looking stuff up, doing some research on our own. There was a, a you know, lot of things going around social media this week about the World Health, or not World Health, excuse me, the World Economic Forum, uh, and it's a little bit of the World Health Organization and whatnot, but who put these people in charge? I'm really, uh, and the United Nations, who put those people in charge? You know, the UN has that, that development um, agenda, the 2030 agenda that we'll talk about here in, 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 in a little bit. But the first one, first topic, first headline, I should say, is uh, FEMA to test mass emergency alert on October 4th. What does that mean? Well, the reason for the test is to make sure that all systems are uh, prepared in case of a national emergency and it needs to be sent out public. That means everybody's cell phone, everyone's, if you're in on uh, or near a cell tower, uh, you're going on October 4th, you're going to get pinged on your cell phone. Uh, emergency alert system. Why is that? What is it gearing up? I'm not trying to be a conspiracy uh, conspiracist here. Forget it. Uh, and that's the end of the show, folks. I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm not trying to be conspiracy theory what i'm trying to do is we got to start thinking on our own start looking at some of the things and put the pieces together all right think on your own yep absolutely steve you're right brother so i thought it was interesting but i also wanted to give you guys a heads up next month you're going to get your phones are going to go off uh and don't be alarmed i'm sure it's just a test uh, next up, this one here should probably ru uh, rub some of you the wrong way. Uh, this next one here is from our uh, friends, and I say that sarcastically, over at the New York Times. Uh, New York Times declares COVID not over yet. It says Americans are in for a rude reminder that pandemic is the new normal. Really? Pandemic's the new norm, huh? Do you guys agree with that? Uh, and this this article was very recent, too. So what are your guys' thoughts on this? Is the pandemic a, a new norm? Now, here's the other thing. You guys know, Christina, how are you, sis? How you doing? Appreciate you. Uh, you've probably seen online and you've heard talks. You know Bill Gates talks a lot about, you know, there's another pandemic coming and 
you know, people will probably be more aware about it and there will be more control over it and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So is it a surprise to you that they, the powers to be, whomever they, they are, are saying that the pandemic is the new norm? Reminder, and, and I know a lot of you, I've seen some of you, those of you stay with me, guys, think about this. This isn't, when I when I talk about this stuff, because I try to be more positive, that's what this network's all about. And I'm not trying to, like, you know, piss on anybody's parades or ruin their Friday. I'm literally doing this so we can start seeing the bigger picture and putting the puzzle pieces together. You don't have to agree with me. I, that doesn't, but but I would like for you to at least go look, and 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 figure out the puzzle yourself, if if anything, right? Is the pandemic a new norm? Steve, what is uh, electoral elect, elections are called? And that's another thing. Do you think we're going to see the twenty? Are are we going to see an election coming up? I'm not sure. We have a a few months left in this year. And they're already talking about another pandemic uh, coming. You know, a, a new pandemic's gonna gonna happen. It's, you know, they're talking about it. The Bill Gates, the, you know, all of these other people and the in these big organizations, they're 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 talking about it already. So should we believe it? They talked about it before, and look what happened. Maybe that's something we should believe. Maybe they're just kind of flaunting it at us, Daniel. Hey, appreciate you jumping on. Good morning to you. So what are your guys' thoughts on that? Think about that. Look that, look that up. Um, and again, I posted that uh, article from the New York Times uh, in there. Next up, speaking of Bill Gates, you know my favorite person, uh, said no one ever. Let me post this one up here. Do, do, do. Uh, Bill Gates is the major contributor to climate change that people are probably least aware of. It says it's challenging. Climate change is challenging. Now, I'm not going to deep dive into this particular article. Uh, it's from CNBC. But if you look at the fine print, you can kind of see what it is that they're shooting for a lot of environmentalists are out there like you know there's I, I i'll be the first to tell you i see a benefit in solar i see a benefit in wind uh technologies and stuff like that uh, hands down do i do i think we need fossil fuels or what they call fossil fuels and we'll get into that at, at, at another show um yes i still think we need those things if you look at like electric cars you can see an article that i posted uh, a couple weeks ago about electric cars you're spent you're you're you know with the mining operations to get the lithium to produce the car batteries and stuff you're you're spending more on fossil fuels than you are then it's not worth it it's not it's not worth it right let's look at the overall picture when it comes to to these kind of things solar i i i see a benefit to solar the problem is you know 20 years ago, I consulted for a solar company, and when I got, I, got, I was, I was, uh, my services were no longer needed when I asked, well, what do they do after the lifespan of a solar panel? And they wouldn't answer my question. I was asking too many questions, and, and now we know solar panels have a life expectancy of about 20 to 25 years. Once those are done, or excuse me, 25, 30 years, something between 20 and 30 years. Anyway, you can recycle parts of the solar panel, but it's very expensive to recycle. So what do they do? They just they just get rid of the entire thing completely. A lot of the stuff that's in the solar panels are toxic. There's nowhere to put it. So what do they do? You do the math on that, right? Again, I'm not saying this, this is stuff that you can look up. Go look it up if you think it's important, as it should be. Stephen, I wonder what the dinosaurs did. <laughs> they existed, and they pissed the climate off so much that Mother Nature got mad and wiped them out, right? Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Bill Gates, check it out. Climate change, it's it's just another one of those things that we, we really need to kind of pay 
pay attention to. And a lot of this stuff, you know, when I talk about this stuff, a lot of people will be like, why are you talking about it? Does It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me directly. But it it does. You know, the, the more seasoned that I get in my age, I'm realizing that some of this stuff you really do kind of have to pay closer attention to. Um, and it may not affect you directly in a sense as you right then and there, but it, it, it does affect you because if you go to the store, you're purchasing stuff, you go to the gas station, it affects you at the pumps. Uh, it affects you. It, it, it does affect you. You just don't realize it. And again, look this stuff up. Next up, um, I found this. How many of you have actually uh, have been bored enough to go look at the UN site, United Nations site, and look to see who's in charge of the United Nations and how they address people as a whole? Uh, it's very interesting. And I thought this was interesting. But this is uh, the article that I just posted here, the Sustainable Development Agenda. Uh, that's from the UN site itself. Read it. And I, and I know I know we're going to lose listeners and watchers right now, but those of you that watch this later on, read these articles and check them out because it's going to blow your mind on what's going on. Again, I'm just sharing this stuff for you guys to, to think about. Whether you agree with it or not, and I haven't really voiced my opinion too much on any of these, but check them out. It's it's interesting to learn what's going on right out in front of us, right? So check it out. Let's let's talk a little bit. Okay, let's let's change it up a little bit. Let's change it up a bit. Um, football season, college football's back. NFL season's right around the corner. Last night, uh, out in the desert, uh, our friends uh, from the S3 with JD. JD was down at ASU last night, Arizona State University, with uh, Rhonda, our, our amazing photographer who, who covers all our Arizona sports and NASCAR down there in the desert. Uh, attended the ASU game last night. So it's nice to see college football back in the swing of things. Uh, HMG was down at ASU last night. We had the team down there covering the game. I posted some pictures earlier. Um, but this morning, and then I think there was one from last night. We're going to post some more pictures later today uh, from some of the pictures from, uh, from the game. Awesome to see college football back in the swing of things. It is September. September is here. It, today is September 1st. Why am I excited? Because um, I walked outside this morning, and it's about low 60s out right now. It's beautiful out. I love this time of year. Fall is right around the corner. The weather's supposed to be getting cooler. It is, at least in the mornings. Um, you can sit outside on your deck, have a nice cup of coffee, uh, HMG coffee. If you go to hmgcoffee.com, order your coffee today, you'll get uh, – it's just beautiful. I think this is we're, – we're getting into fall, which is, I think, one of the most beautiful times of the year. Maybe I'm wrong. If you disagree, let me know what your favorite time of year is. What else do we got? Listen, we're hiring. Um, we got a couple of new editors uh, coming on board. We got some new um, account managers uh, coming on board. So if you're a podcaster... And you're looking for a home, you want to expand your audience, come join Heroes Media Group. We have a home for you right here. Send us an email, info at heroesmediagroup.com. Let us know that you want to join the network. Join the, our community of podcasters from around the world uh, and let us help you grow your brand. Authors, those of you that have books or maybe you're thinking about writing a book, let us help you. Our publishing department is going to help you self-publish your book, and then we're going to take that, and we're going to turn it into an audio book for you. That's something that we can do. Let us know. Again, email us at info at heroesmediagroup.com. Jump on board with us today. We'd love to have you a part of the family. So speaking of the family, before I get into the shows, we got a couple of announcements. 
Today, like I said, is September 1st. Today is the first day of Run Ranger Run. You can run, walk, and bike 565 miles for veterans in the month of September for our friends over at Gallant Few. Go to gallantfew.org forward slash run ranger run and uh, raise money for a great cause. Love Gallant Few. We've been working with them for many, many years. Longtime friends. Go check it out, gallantfew.org. What's coming up this month? Uh, wow. Hey, look at this. It, September, we are right around the corner from the All Heroes Welcome Ball down in Tampa, Florida, September 29th with our friends at Team Addo. The Welcome Ball. You want to check it out. You need to be there. You want to be there. Tickets are on sale right now. Go to teamado.org. Click on the events tab. Get registered. Get you down. I'm telling you, this is such an amazing event. We do this every year. We've done it for the last, what, three, four years, I think now. Um, it's a blast. This year is a 20, 1920s theme, so it's going to be a lot of fun. The very next day, September 30th, is the All Heroes Open Fishing Tournament. They do a fishing tournament. It's right in the bay. Sharks, I mean, red snappers. You have a blast. I absolutely love it. Again, it's from our friends over at Team Auto. Go to teamauto.org. Get registered. Their tickets are for sale. You want to come. This is an event you don't want to miss. Go to teamauto.org. And with Team Addo, they're also doing the uh, Bronco giveaway. You guys have heard me talk about it for months. It's down to the wire. They are going to be picking the winner the night of September 29th. Now, you don't have to be present to win, but it's a, a 1 in 5,000 chance of winning. They're only selling 5,000 tickets. They got some tickets left. Get your tickets today. It's $100. Now, you're thinking, $100 for... Mm, don't look at it like that. Look at it as you, your $100 is going to help transitioning veterans uh, when they get out of the military. This is for a great cause. Uh, we bought a couple of tickets in this household. i got family members that have bought a couple of tickets. Uh, I'm hoping to be uh, driving that thing home. It's uh, a 2022 custom Ford Bronco and $10,000 cash. So check that out. Go to teamauto.org. A lot of stuff happening this month with our friends over at Team Auto. All right? So check it out, teamauto.org. Uh, we have a uh, new alliance uh, that we have formed with Sisu Stamina and the Universal Learning Approach. This stuff is awesome. I just ordered my stuff the other day, so I'm going to keep you posted on how this stuff works. A great organization, veteran-owned, but if you go to ulauniverse.com, check it out and use Heroes 10, you'll get 10% uh, off your purchase. So check it out. Thank you, Sisu Stamina. We're happy to be working with you guys. Uh, next up, also new uh, to the family, Jim Neary's Bait and Tackle and... Warriors on the Water, LTD. Uh, these are great organizations. They're in southern uh, Pennsylvania, uh, southern Lancaster County. Uh, if you are a fisherman like I am, I love the fish. Probably going to do it this weekend, hopefully. Uh, go down to Jim Neary's Bait and Tackle. He'll hook you up. Uh, Warriors on the Water, LTD. They got some uh, great fishing tournaments that they do uh, throughout the year. Also, right now, there is a gun raffle going on through Warriors Warriors on the Water LTD, and you can buy raffle tickets uh, at their website. Uh, and their website is warriorsltd.com. And I'll post all of this stuff in the comment sections uh, after after the after the uh, after the show. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can do this right now. I'll post the uh, Sisu stamina one. Boom! There you go. And then we have. Warriors on the water. Andrew, what's up, brother? How are you? Long time no chat. Andrew, I know you got something for us, Andrew. What's going on in the Tennessee area? Let us know. Post it. Post it, please. 
let's get into some of the shows this week and what's been going on because there's a lot happening uh, with the shows and some great content being put out for you guys. Remember, you can find all the shows that are on the HMG network. Go to heroesmediagroup.com, click on podcast, and you can check out all the shows. And again, if you're a podcaster and you're looking to expand your audience, that's what we do. We're here to help you brand your brand. Come be a part of the Heroes Media Group family. Send us an email at info at heroesmediagroup.com. Andrew, what do we got here? Early Warrior Nashville hike September 2nd. Wow, that's tomorrow. 08 Bicentennial Park. There you go. Tennessee folk, if you're out there, Nashville, the, you got a hike going on tomorrow. 08 Bicentennial Park. Check it out. Andrew, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you for sharing that. Let's talk about some of the shows. And listen, those of you, I see a lot of you guys jumping on right now. I know it's early. Leave a comment. Let me know you guys are out there. Say hello. Make sure you share this. If you missed the beginning of the show, that's fine. Go check out some of the uh, posts and stuff that we did earlier. There he is. Good morning, sunshine. Ken, how are you, brother? (laughs) Andrew, you are most welcome, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. Again, if you're just joining the show right now, um, we talked about some of the... uh, news headlines that I saw this week, uh, and I post them in the comment section below. Uh, so feel free to go check those out uh, later today or, or right now. Very, very interesting stuff uh, this week and what's going on. Again, folks, critical thinking. It's a lost art, right? And we do get shadow banned on this for, for sharing stuff. So I'm not surprised if we get uh, shadow banned for sharing some of the stuff on you know, Bill Gates and and so forth, because it usually happens. Let's get into some of the shows. What's important? Pay attention to some of these guests this week. Amazing um, episodes this week. Uh, first up, Carry On Politics. They've rebranded their back this week. Uh, Republican uh, congressional candidate, uh, Mr. Kellen Curry. He's running for New York's 3rd Congressional District. He's got a lot of cool stuff to say. Check it out. It's Carry On Politics. Next up, the Power of Investing in People podcast with our gal Shay Sparks. This week, great guest, um, Deanna Redilescu. And you guys know Deanna because she's part. She's the Label Free podcast that's on our network as well. I love it when... HMG family shows get together and do do an episode. So, have you ever wanted to throat punch the voice of your in your head? Do you attach labels to yourself like I'm not good enough? Well, this week's inspiring conversation is with none other the great Deanna Redilescu from Label Free Podcast. Hear how she turned those labels into positives. This is a great episode, and if you're not familiar with Deanna, you really got to listen to this episode. She's got an incredible story. Uh, she's been on the uh, Decision Hour in the past, um, and we're just happy to have her uh, a part of the HMG family. Great, great episode. Power Investing in People with Podcast with Shay Sparks. Check it out. Next up, I really, I'm, I'm digging this next show, The Other Side of the Firewall. Again, this is that IT. And I'm not an IT guy. And after this, the week that I've had with the websites and stuff, you would you would you would see that very much so. But the guys are on break uh, this week, so check out their top five downloaded shows over the years. Great, great shows. I've learned a lot from it in the short amount of time that I've been listening to this podcast. The other side of the firewall. Check it out. Next up, the Misfit Nation podcast. Another great show. Love this one. This week. U.S. Army veteran, life coach, and transformational trainer, Mr. Derek Johnson. Looking to tra- uh, transition from uh, from merely surviving to truly thriving, Derek Johnson has the proven expertise to guide you on the journey with a remarkable track record of aiding over 500 clients and partnering with over 50 companies 
He's a beacon of transformation. This is a great episode. I really enjoyed this one. Check it out, Misfit Nation. Next up, we got the boys from Pushing Back Chaos. This week is, what are you waiting for? I don't know. Million dollars, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. That's the title of this week's episode is, what are you waiting for? When is the perfect time? Next week? Next year? How about just say one more day? That should cover it, right? Well, the real question is, when are you going to choose to celebrate to be happy? They had special guest uh, this week, Simon. And if you follow this show, you've heard Simon before. Simon's been on the show before. He's an uh, Australian military veteran. Uh, always great having him uh, on an episode. So check it out. Great episode this week, Pushing Back Chaos. Uh, next up, environmentally speaking. I talked a little bit earlier uh, about, you know, climate change and whatnot. This show hits it on the head. So this week's topic is farming in the face of climate change, adapting to unpredictable growing. Now, here's the thing. And I've, I've noticed, full disclosure, I'm not a farmer. I've got a garden out back. Uh, I grow some stuff in some five-gallon buckets. That's that's about it. But this week, they're talking about how erratic weather patterns are affecting farmers in Rhode Island and challenges they face in adapting to these changes from extended growing seasons to disrupted planting schedules. I don't know if you've noticed. I've certainly noticed in and around the Pennsylvania area and whatnot, but I'm seeing farmers getting a lot more crops in uh, this year because the schedule is so out of whack. Are you guys experiencing that in your area? And if you are a farmer out there, I would love to hear from you. Please send us a message or leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys are, are, are seeing out there uh, if you guys are farmers. So that's this week's Environmentally Speaking. And this topic, again, they talk about the Rhode Island farmers, but this is something that affects everybody across the uh, the United States. So check it out. Uh, next up, we got our friends from the uh, Military Child Education Coalition. It's the MSEC podcast. This week, Jennifer, she's the parent of four uh, military-connected children and talks about the impact of multiple transitions and how they have affected her family. She gives insight on how parents can assist their children to uh, navigate being the new kid at school. How many of you out there are military brats and moved around a lot? You guys get it. You understand it. It's complicated, right? A lot of the times when we talk about our military and whatnot, we oftentimes forget about uh, the spouses, and we certainly uh, often forget about the kids and what they go through uh, and whatnot. So this is a great podcast. I love it. MSEC, uh, Military Child Education Coalition. Go to militarychild.org, and if you're a veteran or active duty, and you have kids that are still in school, you should be following this. They have some great resources for you, so go check it out. Next up, we have the Arms Room Show. Every Monday, 2 p.m., Arizona Mountain Standard Time. They have a new show that goes out this week. They got Joe from uh, Vivian in studio uh, talking about home security systems, do's and don'ts. How many of you out there have a, uh, some type of security system uh, at home, whether it's cameras or uh, I don't know, alarm system, trip wires, whatever. <laughs> Maybe that's a little far, but um, I don't know. How many of you got security systems? Don't answer that because we don't need to know that. But you want to know the do's and don'ts about how to set up your security system. This is a very informative episode. I loved it, and it made me realize there's probably going to be some changes that I'm going to do uh, with my security setup that I have. So check it out. That's this week's The Arms Room Show. And next up, we got Chasing Happiness. This week, empowerment for change, navigating uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, Ryan, who is the host, has an insightful discussion on the power of uh, journaling and self-reflection and how these practices can dive into personal growth and create a ripple effect of positivity. You can explore the significance of small uh, intentional actions 
and the joy of creating daily impacts that collectively change the world with special guest Rick or, uh, Ornels. I hope I said that right. I was practicing it before the show. <laughs> Great episode, Chasing Happiness. Stay with me, folks. We've got a couple left. Uh, next up, the Joel Evans Show. Great episode this week again. His guest, David Siegel, the CEO of meetup.com comes on to discuss how to build community and stop out isolation. They also get into his best-selling book, Decide and Conquer, uh, where he outlines the core t- uh, tenets of successful leadership. He's not all talk. He took over a bankrupt company during the pandemic and rebuilt the brand into a thriving company uh, that they are today. Great episode. Check it out. That's the Joel Evans Show. Uh, next up, uh, Rise Up, Voices from the Front Line. Check out all of their episodes, and they're going to be live uh, tonight. Uh, where are they going to be? Uh, they're going to be in Webster, Texas tonight from 7 to 10 with our friends over at Sergeant Records uh, and the Scotty Frazier Band. So go check that out. It's a free entry. It's going to be, where is it? Uh, Saloon Door Brewing. So if you're in uh, Webster, Texas, you need something to do tonight, boom. There you go. Go check it out and go say uh, hi to our friends over at the Scotty Frazier Band as well. So that's uh, Rise Up Voices from the Front Lines, and that's from our friends over at Battle 2B. All right, next up, Label Free Podcast with our gal Deanna. This week, Overcoming Anorexia, Anorexia, and finding the six pillars of wellness with Jacqueline Vitell. Uh, Jacqueline shares her six pillars of wellness, a framework for taking control of your life and staying grounded amidst the chaos. They also explore the importance of physical, uh, neutral, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual uh, well-being. So check it out. Great episode as always, Label Free Podcast. Uh, next up, time to shine a day with our man Scott Ferguson this week. And this is definitely one. Listen, this is one you guys need to check out. Aligned and Alive. Unlocking your inner power and daily inspiration with Amanda uh, Bertiz. Amanda is known as the, quote, money healer, end quote. And she is the founder of the NFA. No effing around money. I love it. Uh, she is the host of the NFA Money YouTube channel, and she's been featured in over 150 podcasts. After going from food stamps to building a six-figure business fast, Dr. Amanda uh, has been on a quest to teach coaches and entrepreneurs her three-step NFA money formula so they can confidently attract easier money into their business with less stress, and more joy. Love this episode. Watched this one late last night. I loved it. It was great. Time to shine today. Check it out. Because Bikers Matter is next. Uh, With our man, David, a.k.a. Vegas uh, Schumann. He's joined this week by very special guest, uh, Yokian Marcello, uh, who is the president of of City of Peace Media and Films and is the producer of the upcoming movie Iron Lily. And that's what they talk about. They talk about uh, because they were recently both at uh, Sturge's uh, rally. So check it out. That's this week's Because Bikers Matter podcast. Uh, Next up, we got our friends over at the People's Patriot Project. Mark, Big Mark Peterson was on earlier. Every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, they do the roundtable Live on Facebook, we got your six at six. That's what they call it. And uh, the this show has done amazing over the last couple of years. I'm very proud of them. Uh, and they keep bringing on such amazing guests. So Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check it out. Uh, next up, the S3 with JD. JD is going to be live later today, giving you the inside scoop of, and wrapping up what they saw last night at the ASU game down uh, in uh, Tempe, Arizona. It was a great, great uh, showing, and I guess the weather was pretty bad. 
So check it out. Mark P. Still here. To, yeah, buddy. Mark, who do you guys got coming up this week? Let the fans here know. Who do you guys got coming on the show uh, this week? Because you guys do. You, you guys have had some great um, guests on. And I love, I love that they do a, kind of a round table with uh, these musicians all over the country and stuff. So Mark's going to kindly type something in here. Uh, of what to expect from the People's Patriot Project uh, this weekend. And why, my, while Mark's doing that, let me pay some bills here, folks. Hey, listen, check out our sponsors. If you it, Seriously, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. The, our sponsors have been great uh, this year, and we are truly, truly blessed to have them. My tax fella, my man Anthony, um, over at My Tax Fella, he's handled our books um, and does all of our taxes for all of our businesses for the last, I don't know, close to a decade now. If you need help with your stuff, go give him a call. Uh, let his team help you out. My tax fella. Uh, forget genetics. My man Barry. Veteran-owned business. And for all you hunters out there, this is definitely, <laughs> this, this company is your best friend. If you're a hunter, this is one of those companies that's going to be your best friend. Check them out. Uh, forget genetics, and if you use promo code HMG, he's going to give you a 10% discount uh, on uh, on anything that you get off his website. Forget genetics. Go check him out. What do we have here? David, good morning, sir. How are you? Appreciate you jumping on. Hope all is well with you, sir. Who else do we got? Uh, yeah, again, so forget genetics. Go check them out. God Hole Brewing. If you're down and around Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and you need a place or something to do, go check out our friends over at Got a Hold Brewing. Uh, go get some lunch. Have some of their amazing beer down there. Absolutely love it. Uh, so go check it out, Got a Hold Brewing. Motorcycle safety lawyers. Come on. As if, I got, if you're riding, these guys need to be on your speed dial. Check them out, Motorcycle Safety Lawyers. They're also the sponsors of uh, because Bikers Matter podcast. Go check them out, MotorcycleSafetyLawyers.com. Uh, IndependenceBourbon.com. For women, by women, my dear friend and partner. Yes, partner. Uh, Independence Bourbon, get on their list because when they when they go live with the stuff, you'll be able to purchase um, one of the very first bottles. So check it out, IndependenceBourbon.com. Feed the people, buy the people. Find out who your local ranchers and farmers are. Support them. Buy meat from them. I'm going to give you a story quick for those of you that don't know. I recently purchased uh, half, a, uh, half a cow, about 200 pounds worth once everything was off the bone, and it was the best decision that I have made. This is the second year that I've done it. Uh, you save money. You get better meat. It tastes better. No GMOs, no steroids, none of that other crap uh, that they put in. So, uh Feed the People by the People is run by my good friend AJ. Go check it out Find and, and start buying local. Start buying them from your local local farms. Because remember, there's fake meats in the stores. You don't want that, right? Alibi Tattoo. Alibi Tattoo. They hooked me up uh, earlier this year. So if you're looking to get some ink, or maybe you have some ink on your body that you don't want anymore, they do ink removal as well. Go check out our friends over at Alibi Tattoo. Uh, what else we got? Uh, do, 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 uh, JB Auto Clothiers. I did not wear my jacket today, um, and I apologize. One of my fans is. I know some of you guys love the bow tie and you love the jackets, but go check out JB Auto Clothiers. We are doing, uh, we are taking appointments right now for uh, suits. We do jackets, suits, tuxedos. And we do custom shirts as well. Go to jbautoclothiers.com uh, to find out what time we have available. So check it out. What do we have here? Uh, Ken, thank you for the car. Hey, you're welcome, brother. I figured you'd like it, man. <laughs> I figured you'd like it. Linda, good morning. How are you? Hope all is well down there. <laughs> Trinity Productions, that's my man Gabriel. What's up, brother? How are you? Appreciate you guys jumping on. Uh, who else do we got? 
Uh, b -b 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 where was it? HMG Beverage. How can I forget our sister company, HMG Beverage? Check it out. You got the coffee right there. Go to hmgbeverage.com or HMG Coffee. Order today. Am I going to do a Labor Day sale? Crap. Now that I brought it up, I literally just thought about that. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Who wants, who wants coffee this weekend at a discount? And Lance, if you're still on, no, we're not some insane discount price. Sorry. But I will give you guys something. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Sisu Stamina and Universal Learning Approach. Go check them out. Go to ulauniverse.com and use promo code HEROES10 at checkout. And uh, stay tuned because I just ordered my stuff. So I'm looking forward to checking out their product and testing it out. And uh, I'll give you guys more feedback on that as the weeks come. Carabas down in Fayetteville, North Carolina near Fort Bragg. This is the one over on Sycamore Dairy. Go tell our friends Eric that we said hello. And uh, Carabas, great people, good organization. Go check them out. Thank you, Carabas. And last, certainly not least, Jim Neary's Bait and Tackle and our friends over at Warriors on the Water LTD. Don't forget, Warriors on the Water LTD has a gun raffle going on right now. Go to warriorsltd.com uh, to check it out. Did I miss anybody? No. Awesome. So we got that. Mark, what do we have here? Uh, Joel Grant and Tim. Okay, that's who's coming on this week for the People's Patriot Projects. We got your 6 at 6 Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Ken. Ken wants to use that. Is that Okay, so Ken, tell the wife, stand by. Uh, I'm working on that, and I should have something out. We have the labels ordered. The coffee has been on back order for a while, and on Tuesday I'll be following up with that. So here in the next few weeks, tell the missus that we're going to have decaf. I will keep you posted as you are a loyal customer, and the last thing I want is the missus to be PO'd. So we'll make sure we get you guys some decaf down there. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Linda, wait, Linda, what's the we do? Is that is that the uh, is that the coffee? Are you guys wanting coffee? Hmm. If only you knew someone, right? If only you knew someone. What else? Anything else? Trinity promotion. Yep, Gabe. I'm sure you guys want coffee. Gabe, shoot me a text. Let me know what you guys want. And we got to catch up anyway. Uh, what else? Again, if you are just jumping on right now, if you're a podcaster and you're looking for a home or you want to expand your reach, come join us at Heroes Media Group. Send us an email, info at heroesmediagroup.com. Authors, you need help writing your book. You need help publishing your book. That's something that we are keen at doing. We can help you out. Again, info at heroesmediagroup.com. Send us an email. Let us know. And then we're going to take your book and turn it into an audio book for you as well. We are growing this company. Let's finish this year off strong. We're adding new shows, so stand by for that. We got uh, four new shows coming onto the network here between now and the end of October that we're super excited about. We got new staff coming on board as well uh, here in the next couple of weeks, so stand by for that. Uh, we're going to have a new website launching hopefully before the end of the year, maybe. So stay tuned uh, for that. And I want to know what you guys want me to talk about each week. So if you guys got topics, comments, cries of outrage, let me know. Let me hear it. Let me hear them. Let's hear it. Dave, can't wait to have you on. Hey, man, I'm looking forward to being uh, on your podcast soon, David. Looking forward to it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Listen. All right. Uh, what else? I think that's it. That's it. It's been long enough. Wow. Almost 50 minutes today. That's a long show today. Long show today. But listen, I appreciate you guys again. If you're just jumping on, if you're on right now and you missed the beginning of the show, go check it out. Check out the articles. Again, Critically Thinking, It's a Lost Art. Uh, so make sure you guys stay aware of your surrounding and what's going on. Let's pay attention. Again, you don't have to agree with me. I just put this stuff out there so you guys can look stuff up and come to your own conclusion. That's it. All right? 
Uh, that's it. That's all the time that I have today. Let's have a great weekend. Get out of the house. Do something fun. Be safe. God bless you. God bless America. I love you all. We'll see you guys next week.